The Mueller investigation has closed shop, putting the report now in the hands of new Attorney General William Barr. He'll decide how the special counsel's findings are delivered to Congress. Let's look at the scope and scale of Robert Mueller's investigation by the numbers. It was on May 17, 2017 that Acting Attorney General Rod Rosenstein appointed Mueller to serve as special counsel. His assignment? Investigate the Russian government's efforts to interfere with the 2016 presidential election and related matters. So it's now been more than 670 days. During that time, Mueller's team has worked with its own grand jury in Washington and paneled in 2017. Its initial 18-month term was set to expire in early January, but extended for several more months. They've helped Mueller's team in obtaining seven guilty pleas, four from people who worked on Trump's campaign. Indicted or charged with crimes are another 27 individuals. 25 of them Russian nationals. That includes 12 GRU officers who were charged for hacking the DNC and Clinton's campaign. Also, three Russian companies have been charged in connection with a vast social media campaign that aimed to influence the U.S. election. Since Mueller began his investigation, Facebook's removed about 500 pages and accounts on both Facebook and Instagram. Twitter, more than 400 accounts. At its high watermark, at least 17 attorneys were working with the special counsel. Most of them were on temporary assignment to Mueller from other areas of the Justice Department. These lawyers have spent hundreds of hours interviewing cooperating witnesses. Former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn, for example, sat for a total of 19 interviews, totaling approximately 62 hours and 45 minutes. On average, since the special counsel's investigation started, it's cost taxpayers around $1.4 million per month. By last October, the total had reached $25 million. The number includes expenses such as salaries and benefits, rent and utilities for office space, travel and printing for the special counsel's office itself. So that figure also includes the cost of Department of Justice assets, including FBI agents detailed to the investigation. The independent counsel investigation of President Bill Clinton lasted four and a half years and cost almost $40 million. We finish with a number to watch for. How much money Uncle Sam gets from former Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort. As part of his plea deal, Manafort agreed to forfeit real estate and other assets. He holds three properties in New York and an apartment in Trump Tower and a house in Virginia. After selling them and seizing money from various bank accounts, the total could come to more than the entire cost of the Mueller investigation.